My name is Dan Moldea. I am an independent investigative journalist who has specialized on investigations of organized crime and political corruption since December 1974. Along with nine other books, I am the author of the 1978 work, The Hoffa Wars, about the rise and fall of Jimmy Hoffa. Saturday, July 30th, 2022, is the 47th anniversary of Hoffa's murder, which I have investigated since the crime was first announced. The purpose of this statement is to give a brief status report of what has happened during the past few weeks. On July 21st, the New York Times and the Associated Press broke the news that in early June, the FBI conducted a second court-authorized search for Hoffa's unmarked grave in the alcove under the Pulaski Skyway in Jersey City near the PJP landfill, AKA Brother Moscato's dump. To my chagrin, the FBI announced that it had neither recovered nor discovered any evidence that Hoffa was buried at this location. To be clear, this is the same site that I have been promoting for the past three years since September 2019 when I was shown the location by Frank Coppola who told me that his father had buried Hoffa in that alcove. But even in the aftermath of this massive disappointment, I still believe, one, that Ralph Picardo told the FBI the truth in November 1975 when he said, among other things, that he believed that Jimmy Hoffa was buried at Brother Moscato's dump. Number two, that Genovese Mafia soldier, Philip Brother Moscato, told me the truth during our many exclusive interviews between 2007 and 2014 when he said that, quote, Picardo basically had it right end quote, adding that Hoffa was indeed buried at his dump. Number three, that Frank Coppola told me the truth during our 30 plus hours of interviews between September 2019 and his death in March 2020, when he said that his father, Paul Coppola, a co-owner of the landfill, had buried Hoffa on the orders of his partner, Brother Moscato, near PJP. At my request, Coppola executed a sworn declaration on October 7, 2019, detailing what his father had told him. Frank also offered to take a polygraph test. Number four, that the ground penetrating radar examinations conducted by reputable civilian companies arranged separately by members of my team and by Fox News with me present were performed in good faith. These revealing GPR examinations provided what appeared to be corroborations for what Frank Coppola had told me. The GPR results were the principal reason for our high confidence that Hoffa was still buried in the alcove. Number five, that the FBI and federal prosecutors in good faith and upon the strength of this evidence executed two affidavits in October 2021 and June 2022 detailing that evidence and then submitted those affidavits to the federal court in New Jersey. Shortly thereafter, the FBI obtained sealed search warrants from a federal judge who noted that probable cause existed that Hoffa's remains might be in the alcove under the Pulaski Skyway. To be clear, I would have been negligent if I had ignored all this evidence. This by far was the best lead I have ever seen in my 47 years of investigating this 47-year-old murder case. Upon receipt of its latest warrant, the FBI, in good faith, conducted an extensive search of the site and based on that evidence came up with the tragic conclusion that Hoffa was not there. In the recent reports 
of both the New York Times and the Associated Press, I was quoted insisting that the FBI might have missed the exact location of Hoffa's unmarked grave. Specifically, the Times reported, quote, Mr. Moldea said that a recent ground-penetrating radar investigation by a private company found disturbances and apparent objects below the surface of the soil that were near where the FBI searched, but not the same spots. He said that data has recently been forwarded to the FBI. Quote, I'm more than happy to accept this verdict, Moldea said, but there is one lingering issue that I believe remains unresolved. This is a stone left unturned, end quote. We are currently trying to resolve this dispute to the satisfaction of everyone involved. But regardless of how this plays out, I still believe that Hoffa is or was buried at or near PJP and Jersey City after his 1975 murder in Detroit, and that we just can't find him. Also, regarding those who are now accusing me of having a blind spot with regard to the role of Detroit in the murder conspiracy, I remind everyone that no one, living or dead, has spent more time than I have investigating Detroit labor racketeer Roland McMaster for his role in the transportation of Hoffa's body via gateway transportation, as well as McMaster's participation and direction of the local 299 violence which preceded Hoffa's murder. That aside, as promised, if this search by the FBI was unsuccessful, I must say that the failure is mine and mine alone. The members of my loyal production team are blameless. Be assured though that none of us requested or accepted any money from any media organizations during the past three years of this investigation. We agreed that we would do nothing until Hoffa's remains were recovered and positively identified by the FBI. In short, we have not opened an empty vault at anyone else's expense. Thank you for your time and attention during this extraordinary process.